Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 7 of Direwolf20's Let's Play series of Age of Engineering. That's right, we are back. Uh, last episode, we made some really good progress. Uh, I got myself a tool forge, I got myself some really awesome tools. I am loving the Cobalt Hammer and Dire Pig 1. Yeah. It is so awesome. Uh, today, though, it's about time we look at the calculator mod. Dun, 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 dun. Calculator mod looks pretty cool. I've done a little bit of research around it, but I think the best thing to do is to make an info calculator, which apparently is some kind of guidebook. Um, so I haven't played with this mod a whole lot. Part of me wants to learn a little bit of it on camera. I have been doing a little bit off camera look too though, just so I could kind of get an idea of what's up. I've also obviously been processing ores, going out in the world. I got a bunch of coal for my mining experiences between last episode and this one. Really gonna need to sort out some kind of item storage system. And I should also kind of move out of this hole in a wall that I call a base because it is literally a hole in a wall. So, to-do list, quite large. I'd like to get into calculator a little bit. Uh, I might want to start clearing out some terrain uh, and, and building some kind of base. Nine by nines feel like a pretty good place to start right there. Um, some kind of item storage stuff, so I don't know. But today I want to work on calculator because it's a mod that I've really been looking forward to using and I'm excited to check it out a little bit. So uh, what say you? Let's get started, shall we? Um, before we can get two started, I, I really need to come up with some better item storage options here. I'm wondering if like I can move my to be processed ores, like unprocessed metals, into a separate chest up here-ish. And um, it's probably a good idea to start at least throwing these things in there. Um, I feel like that's kind of a good plan. Um, at least it feels like it to me. So let's get started with calculator and see what's up. So it looks to me like I need some cobblestone, I need some buttons, I need some redstone, and a calculator screen, which is cobblestone and redstone. So the foundational stuff looks pretty straightforward to make. Uh, I might have smooth stone chilling in here, which is good, because I can put my door in there. Inventory management is rapidly gonna become a problem for me, I think. So a couple buttons, and that gets us the basic info calculator. Neat. Cool. So this actually looks like a pretty good setup. So uh, calculators, modules, circuits, nutrition, generation, machines, tools. Neat. Uh, so calculators. There's a bunch of calculators. I guess the crafting calculator is the main one. A portable device which provides portable crafting. It requires RF to function. It can be charged in the power cube. It uses one RF per item. Calculators will keep their inventory. Well, that's cool. Oh, I see. So these big buttons change the pages. Um, that's interesting. So like calculators, there's one, two, three, four, five, six calculators, right? So crafting calculator. If we want to see about the scientific calculator, which is the next one, it's this one. But then this changes pages there. That's cool. Scientific calculator, flawless calculator. It's a pretty neat guidebook. I like it. Um, so what's, let's get into the age of calculators. Like that feels like what I need to do. So to make a calculator, now is a calculator different from a crafting calculator? It is. This triggers age two. So what does this actually do? Like, I don't know what an actual calculator does. Maybe it actually does crafting. So that makes sense. Cool. It looks like it does things. So this might be specialty crafting. So I can turn gold and redstone into enriched gold and iron and reinforced stone into reinforced iron. Interesting. So we're gonna have to try that out. So it looks like some kind of crafting mechanic. So the first thing we're gonna need is steel and copper. So let's get ourselves some copper. I really have to figure out why my why, why mouse wheeling is not working in this pack. Cause I go to do that all the time and I really wanna do it and I can't do it and that's a shame. So you, Four buttons, calculator, this dude, calculator, screen, two more buttons, and that's a calculator, and this should trigger, dun dun dun, dun the calculation age. Age number two has been achieved, 
And that got me a trophy. Yay! That is cool. Ha <laughs> ha, sweet. So I've got a calculator. Uh, the calculator, not enough energy to open up the UI. So it needs RF power, uh, I believe. So let's check out what the guide has to say. Uh, we're gonna have to generate our first RF power. You have three options. The hand crank generator from calculator. You need to put a crank module on it and keep right-clicking to generate power. Or we can do the clockwork engine from forestry, which again, right-clicking charges it up. And after stopping, it generates a little bit of power for a while. And then finally, there's the survivalist generator from extra utilities too. It generates less power, but needs no maintenance. That's cool. Uh, to store power, the only option is the power cube from calculator. It only stores power and can charge items, but it doesn't output power to other blocks. Next, you need to craft a calculator and charge it in the power cube. Now you can also generate power with a peat-fired engine. You can get peat from bog earth, which is placed next to water within a range of two blocks. Also, you can craft a coal generator from actually additions now. Neat. Okay, so if I wanted to make a generator, a coal generator from actually additions that requires coal coke, that's not so bad. Reinforced stone and iron casings. Iron casings requires, oh wow, an advanced machine block. And that requires steel, carbon, and nano. I can probably make all these things, tin, bronze, iron. Yeah, I can make an advanced machine block. I have, I have, I have the ability to do that. And then reinforced stone is a calculator recipe, which we saw earlier. It is stone, cobblestone of some kind and wood of some kind. Um, cool. So that gets you reinforced stone. That's neat. So learning a bit about calculator today. So we have to, I guess, first figure out what power source we want to go with. Um, and we were given three options in the in the guidebook there. So we could go with, according to the guidebook, uh, we can go with um, the, the the crank generator, the clockwork engine from Forestry. So crank. Let's because we haven't played with it before. Figure out um, calculator type things. That sounds cool, right? So we need another one of those steel mechanical components and then some sticks, and that should get it. We're also going to need a power cube. Was it? which doesn't look so bad. Uh, we're gonna need some compressed coal balls, uh, which is a compressor recipe of flint and coal dust, right? So we're gonna need two of those. So let's get 16 coal. You know what, I'm gonna throw 32 coal into the macerator, uh, cause I suspect we're going to need some coal dust later on. We'll let you chill in the just chill area. Um, you could use a little bit more coal. Refilling, refilling, refilling. Cool. Uh, so that'll get our coal dust for the power cube. We'll work on the power cube in a minute. Let's get the crank generator right now. So we're gonna need four more of you. Crank generator. Generates 18 RF per tick. Well, that's not bad at all. That's pretty good. 18 RF a tick. No complaints there. Out of curiosity, a survival generator also requires a steel mechanical component. Pretty sure that does, what, 5 RF a tick? It does last a long time, though. Uh, you can throw coal in there, and it just really slowly generates a large amount of RF. Uh, so that's totally an option. Um, and then for this crank, we're going to need more sticks. Cool. Okay. Um really starting to think I should consider making a base-ish type area because I like don't even know where to put this junk that I'm making right now I guess I'll put it outside for now like we can work outside for a little bit you know under the stars and uh, maybe we will I don't want to be too far from my front door let's just do it right over here like we don't need to go too far just yet um, but I really want to start looking at making a base. And I might do some of that off camera. Because, I mean, you guys have seen me make a 9x9 before, right? I feel like that's something you know. You know what that looks like. Uh, so you can generate RF. Hopefully we've got a sufficient amount of coal at this point. We've got enough for one coal ball. Right? So let's get our flint, which should be maybe in here. We're going to need two of you. Coal ball into a compressor. Nice.
And then we need a handful more coal dust to get the power cell. So let's do this. Let's come back in a second once this is done processing. All right, all set. Got ourselves a coal ball, which means we should be able to do this and this and this and that. Nice. So then we can, in theory, I'm assuming the lightning bolts matter. Hey, cool, it's blinking. It's blinking. How neat is that? It would be great if I could auto clicker this, wouldn't it? Uh, 720 RF and I can throw this in here. I don't know how much he can store in total. But I guess I'm gonna right click this thing for a bit. Nice. I'm not gonna make a survivalist generator because the coal generator from Actually Editions is actually pretty good. Um, so I think I'd like to get that. Store at 100 RF, or 1000 RF, sweet. All right, so now I can right click the calculator and I can do the crafting recipes, sweet. So this and this equals four reinforced stone, beautiful. That's easy enough. I'm the best at this mod. All right, so now if we want to get a coal generator, uh, we're gonna need those reinforced stone and we're gonna need to get ourselves black quartz, iron ingots, and an advanced machine casing. So we're gonna need steel plates, we're gonna need carbon plates, which is a bunch of coal dust, which is why I made a bunch of coal dust, remember? Um, and then we're also gonna need some advanced alloys, which is, uh, we'll get two of them from three iron plates, three bronze plates, and three tin plates. So let's just double that up. Um, I'm gonna go cook up some bronze real fast. I don't know if there's another way to make bronze. Hey, guess what I learned, by the way? Check this out. Nice. Claim chunks, explosions disabled. Don't ask me why, but it's cool. I like it. Creepers can't blow up my stuff. So that should get me a decent amount of bronze. Um, Let's come back in a second when that's poured out. By the way, I'm setting up a filter for compressed air so that I can use this compressor and not worry about it pulling the items out that I'm trying to craft. Uh, how are we for coal dust? Actually getting pretty close. Let's um, metal former the six bronze that we're gonna wanna get. Does that sound cool? So that will be the two carbon plates that we need. Nice. We're gonna have a bunch of extra, cool. So, few bits of machine processing here, but we'll be right back when I'm done with it. All right, making progress. Uh, so let's just verify, you know what else I need is four. Guess what I did? Yeah, <laughs> I added mouse tweaks, which is a pretty cool mod, which lets you do some mouse scroll wheeling. I, I was pretty sure inventory tweaks had a scroll wheel feature, but maybe I'm wrong. I must be, because it wasn't working. So uh, that's almost what we need for an advanced machine then. Cool, so a couple of you, a couple of you, and we're good, right? So if I want a coal generator from Actually Additions, which is actually a pretty good generator, uh, we're also gonna want some black quartz. So we got um, advanced machine casing requires a machine casing, so I should actually throw some iron in there. So let's get about eight of you, and let's get some quartz processing. Hopefully I can, I kind of want that finish, but uh, back in a minute when the rest of this is done and ready. All right, so coal generator, uh, we need one of you. I don't know why you went in there. Uh, what was that? Advanced machine block. Oh, machine block triggers age 10. Probably don't have the ability to make one of those just yet. <laughs> I assume as much. Uh, we need the advanced machine casing. Nice, we do have the resources for that. So I thought, uh, then just a few pieces of iron times four. Oh, I missed mouse wheel tweak so much. I missed that. I really am happy to have that back now. And boom, coal generator, sweet. So now we should be able to throw coal into a, or any kind of fuel source into the coal generator and produce RF at a decent rate too, as I recall. So goodbye hand crank generator. I'm not doing that anymore. You are going to be awesome. And as I recall, the actual editions one, unless any changes were made to the way this works, it actually produces a decent amount of RF. Um, so, yeah. 
Not bad at all. Yeah, look at that guy filling up his internal buffer. Looking cool. All right, so we're into the calculator mod now, which is exciting for me. Uh, we can put this hand crank generator away. Um, so calculator, we can craft things. By the way, I crafted a couple things that used a really small amount of RF. So that's cool. All right, so what's the guidebook have to say next? Age of engineering, calculation age, cool. Um, now you can generate power with a peat-fired engine. You can get peat from bog earth. Also, you can craft a coal generator from Actually Editions now. To progress further, you need the Atomic Reconstructor from Actually Editions. Per default, it's always on. I know how the Atomic Reconstructor works. Thank you. Now you can get Restonia and Inori. Um, and this opens generating, storing, and using power for everything from progressive automation, which includes automatically crafting, farming, mining, and killing. Sweet. Also, you can now craft a lot from immersive engineering, like the kinetic dynamo and water wheels and windmills. A much better power storage in the capacitors and transferring power with wires and connectors. Solar Flux Reborn also offers cheap cables for low power needs. Um, and we can craft some solar panels. Sweet. And we can use integrated dynamics. So all of that comes from being able to make an atomic reconstructor from actually additions. So an atomic reconstructor requires enriched gold and reinforced iron ingots and another one of these iron casings. Cool, I'm glad that I made the decision to make a few extra bits of coal dust and what have you. So let's throw eight more of you into a metal former. You should be done. You can get compressed. Cool, let that compressed air thing settle down and then we'll be back for him. Uh, so I think the next stage then would probably be an atomic reconstructor, right? Does that sound good? So let's get, let's get most of this. So enriched gold is iron, or is gold and redstone in a calculator. So I need four of those and reinforced iron is iron and reinforced stone in a calculator. So I need four of those. So uh, let's get four of you. I thought I had some redstone on me. Where did it go? I swore I had some redstone on me somewhere. Oh, there it goes. I don't know how that's winding up in there, but... Cool. So four of you... Oh, wait. It's four and rich gold per, so really only one per. That's neat. Um, cool. And then we need the four iron and the reinforced stone, right? So one of you, cobble, right? Yeah, there we go. Neat, okay, so that works out. Let's get you compressing and uh, you can go in here for now. How's that sound? So there's two carbon plates, which looks good. We've got a reinforced stone. Gonna wait for this metal former. And there we go, steel plates, cool. So let's get our atomic reconstructor, what say you? So I need one of you. Why do you keep popping in there? That's not a good sign. Uh, you know what else I need? Is two more of you cooked up. That started happening when I added mouse tweaks, so I wonder if there's something weird going on with mouse tweaks. I don't know, so I'm not sure but we'll find out. Uh, so that should be good to go now. And then we just need our black quartz and four more iron. And we'll be good. Kind of want to make an induction smelter out of curiosity. Would that be like so hard to make? Just needs copper or electric furnace and that doesn't look so bad. Would be kind of neat to have like some really fast smelting ability. Um, and the induction smelter, I think, unless it's changed, only requires one EU per tick to maintain its heat when it's not actually crafting or smelting anything. So that might need to be done. I feel like that might be cool. What if we got you guys in a metal former and we got ready to use that to make another one of those. Um, we're gonna need more bronze then. Uh, not necessarily. Three of you, three of you, cool. So now we can make our atomic reconstructor. Sweet, look at that awesomeness. 
Now, in theory, I should be able to stick this guy right here. And we're going to want to hit him with a redstone signal, or a redstone torch. Which, uh, that looks cool. So if I right-click you with a redstone torch, you'll stop. Now you're in pulse mode, so you need a redstone signal to run. So I'm going to give you a button. Nice. That sounds cool. And you have a pretty large internal buffer of power, as I recall. Hopefully that doesn't get lost when I pick it up. I forget. Nice. All right, so we're in really good shape here uh, with regards to our technological progress. We've made the uh, that thing. So now if I want to make a capacitor, for example. So what's involved in making this? Um, Block of redstone, basic capacitor, needs empowered Restonia crystals. So we're not quite there yet. Um, but they did say I could make these guys, which needs a Restonia crystal block. Um, this just needs electrum and lead and an L two LB capacitors. And then the HV capacitor, lead, a Restonia crystal block, aluminum and steel, and two MV capacitors. So in theory, I could totally make an HV capacitor. Um, and if I wanted to make some HV wire connectors, that's aluminum... HV coils requires an aluminum and steel wire, which can either be made with you or a metal press. Metal press might not be a bad idea. Um, we'll probably want to look into doing that. We'll see. Uh, let's grind up more of you for the future reference. Let's start hammering that up. I think my next course of action is to actually build a place to live. Um, I feel like now's the time. And I said I would kind of do most of this off camera because, like I said, you guys have seen me do a 9x9 before. So why don't I um, start working towards that progress path? Let's do this. Just chopping down my trees real quick. And let's get one of you. An iron wand. Stop doing that. and that's good how's my power doing by the way not bad actually doing all right on power pretty pleased with that and I'm gonna put away or I'm gonna grab nice a bunch of cobble I do absolutely want by the way to have an induction furnace in here which is why I'm working on more of these things So where can I have a base? So if I wanted my base, I might want to start it off in this general direction. Cool. Um, so let's think about how that's going to look. Basically, I want to have a foundation in this general area. So, like, what if I started with something like that? Does that look fair? Now, I should have a bunch of dirt on me. Don't I have a bunch of dirt? Yeah, there it is. Um, does that look like a good place to start calling a base home? Now I can branch out in this direction, but I can't really branch out to the right because that's there. So what if we had another 9x9? Nine nine? Here. That sound cool? And I probably would like to have another line of dirt. Just so I could get up there. Cool. And that'll be the nice foundation for a house. So let's come back in a moment. I'm gonna build that off camera and then I'll see you guys in a sec. 
All right, so let's make an induction furnace. You, 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 you. Uh, then you can make that. Stop doing that. And I just need some copper. Sweet. Induction furnace is good times, let me tell you. Uh, do I want to bother setting this up in here? I'm going to say no, because I'm still working on my base. I got it uh, halfway built, and then my iron wand broke. So, back to building, which is pretty much done now. Um, so that looks good. I mean, I know it doesn't look beautiful. It's cobblestone. I know, I know, I know, but it's me. Luckily, I have a builder's wand. So what I'm thinking I would like to do here is try and separate each room into some kind of logical structure. Um, so we'll have like an industrial craft room, we'll have an RF based room where all my RF machines will live. And we'll kind of go from there. Whether or not that works out, eh, we'll figure it out. But for now, the foundation lives, right? Um, I, I will probably want to have like a hole in this wall that goes out another way. So let's say like this is like the main entrance to my base, like the center of it. Um, then this can be my IC2 room. So let's move some of our IC2 machines into that room. Um, and then we'll want to kind of branch out from there. Probably going to want an item storage room really soon because that's starting to become a real problem for me is item storage. So I'm pretty sure I'll lose some power when I move this stuff, but that's okay. I hate having to move it all, but you know, it needs to be done if I'm being honest. So let's put away some stuff right now that I don't need to have in my inventory for this move. I'll hang on to you. That all should be cool. So are you actually like almost done with a piece of steel? Eh, almost-ish. Now in theory, since I'm using a wrench, there should be no actual loss. We don't have anything like a dolly by Jan, do we? No, didn't think so. A chest mover? Uh, yeah, we have wooden chest transporter. Neat. That'll allow me to move my chests at least without having to spill all the items. That'll be cool. So this is going to be my IC2 room, right? So what if we had the the CESU in this corner, right? Um, and let's get some copper cabling. Because the induction smelter is a tier 2 power, which means it can handle CESU power natively. Which is good, because we're going to want it to do that. So we'll have a tier one line and a tier two line for now, which feels like a pretty good plan. So let's, uh, oh, you know what I'm gonna need is another wrench, um, cause I just used up the last iteration of my wrench's abilities, but we can lay down the machines at least. So the generator will probably live on top of the CESU for now, right? And did you, you did retain some power, so that's nice. That's cool. Let's get a new wrench, which I think I'm gonna need bronze for and then two tin let's put away that works that'll get me my new wrench Anything else in here I need right now? No, I think I'm good. I can put these things away. Dude, I actually have a lot of slag. 
It's awesome. There we go, bronze. Thank you. Need about six of them. Or is it? Yeah, I think it's six. Six or seven. Six. Three. Six. Nice. And it's getting to be late. I'll probably move my bed. But we'll do that in a minute. So I'm thinking... We will have a copper cable come out here. We'll wrench this guy downwards. And then we're going to want the transformer this way. We'll wrench him such that he's that way. And then we can have our machines on top here, right? So we'll have our um, macerator. And compressor goes on the end with the blast furnace. Uh, we could have our metal former. Sure, that can go next. Our extractor can go. Then our compressor. Then our blast furnace facing down. So we want the electric heater facing this way with this guy in it. Shift click U, and you guys all get tin cabling. Cool. You should get a redstone signal. Keep you heated. Nice. You are going to extract empty cells. Cool, right? Yeah into here. We'll just have to deal with the fact that this is going to be visible from the outside. You are going to extract full cells into here. And we'll look at covers or something later. From the inside it'll look good at least. And then our induction smelter can totally just live um, Would it be the end of the world to do this? Yeah. Well, I mean, not the end of the world, but end-ish of the world. So let's extrude some copper metal former. Yeah, extruding mode, copper, that looks good. Nice. Uh, so the last thing is to have the induction furnace, which I'd kind of like to have here. Uh, and I also want him to have a redstone signal, if I may. So while I'm waiting for that extruding mode, I'm going to go get some of the stuff that I had in my inventory before this. No, you can stay. Anything else I might want to have? Uh, I think that's good for now. Everything else can chill. I'm going to bring you and you guys. So you can get some fuel to fill this thing up. You're doing good? Yeah. He uses a lot of power to get his heat up, but once the heat's at the max level, we're good. You can start cooking up more steel. You're going to do your thing. You're good. And then that's cool. You're going to fill up your internal power. No explosions is a good thing. And uh, a redstone signal here would be just ideal. So that should be heating up its internal buffer. Nice. And that should only be using one-ish EU per tick. You're probably using a lot of power right now, but that'll drop in a moment. Cool. All right. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to, off camera now, move all the chests out of my base and maybe even expand my 
my 9x9 base structure. And maybe even at some point, I'll uh, chisel this up and make it look fancier. Um, do we have wands? Eh, not really. One of those are an exchange type item that lets me swap out things. I'll have to find out though. Uh, for now though, I'm going to move my stuff off camera. So we will come back next episode. Uh, the induction furnace should be well handled. I'm going to remove my crafting station here. I don't need you to bring my uh, trophies home with me to my new base. I'm going to move my bed as well. And this room will really only serve to be the portal to the mining age. Um, so like this can be my home base type area. So we'll like pop that guy there and we'll have our uh, crafting table here in the corner. That should be cool. I have a couple trophies laying around. Boom, boom. Um, not sure if I want the trophies to live there or not. We might want a trophy room because we're eventually gonna have a lot of trophies I imagine. Uh, but for now, wrapping up point, Daryl20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We will come back next time. For now, you know the deal. Take it easy.